Hello and welcome to a look at Mr. Nuts Hopping Mad for the Amiga, a game that was developed by Neon and released by Ocean. For reference, Neon is supposed to be uh, renamed Factor 5, but personally I didn't recognize any members of the Factor 5 team, so of course that could have changed over the years. The plot behind this game is that the uh, Peanut Planet has been invaded by space chickens. And uh, Peanut Planet just happens to be Mr. Nut's holiday home. So he's informed by a seagull that he needs to uh, help them get rid of the chickens. And uh, in order to do that, he has to navigate four different continents where he will have to engage chicken bases and kick out the chickens and then once he's done that he will be fighting at the end of uh, continent slash level boss and move on to the next continent. Start by messing around on a map screen, very heavily inspired by certain Mario games where you have to speak to various different individuals and uh, find the bases. The bases are indicated by pennants and Blue bases or blue pennants are insignificant bases, you don't need to clear those. You only need to clear the red ones, but you can access the different levels regardless. Navigating the map requires you to find uh, navigational aids such as jump points, teleporters and all sorts of other things. And that is where the game initially starts. Um, taking out its uh, negative side. But once you enter a level it becomes a platform game where you have to uh, defeat the chickens if it's a red pennant or just exit the level, picking up as many bonuses as you can if it's a blue pennant. Mr. Nuts of course is, as you can like to see, a scroll, and uh, he is quite capable of moving incredibly fast. The faster he moves, the longer he can jump and all that kind of stuff, and if he jumps on top of an enemy, he can uh, damage the enemy. Most enemies will take two hits like that in order to be disposed of. But of course, if he bumps into anything that looks uh, remotely hostile, he will lose a hit point. Hit points in this game is actually quite interesting, I have to admit, because uh, Mr. Nuts carry hit points in his pockets and when he gets hit one of the hit points will be knocked out of the pocket and he can try to catch it regaining the hit point he just lost by being hit but uh, it is quite a convoluted thing so we'll have to deal with. Once the level is defeated he will go back to the map screen and uh, spend uh, the next 20 minutes looking for the next level to enter. On the map screen, by the way, there are various different chests and things like that you can open, and some of them contain bombs, which is the most important resource, because there will be a stone wall blocking your pockets, and you need bombs to blow through those. Let's just go over the technical stuff. Um, from a graphical point of view, uh, there is uh, no denying that the, the graphical quality is incredibly high. Uh, there's a certain amount of people have been complaining about the color use and uh, while I do admit that uh, the foreground, foreground and the background can tend to blend together in a certain way, there is a distinct style to the graphics that I have to admit I have to call between good and excellent. It is uh, a bit happy-go-lucky kind of graphical style, not necessarily cartoonish, but uh, very platform-like, if you want. The sound effects are fitting for the game, and as such, they work perfectly fine. Um, nothing really stands out as such, and nothing feels like it doesn't belong. The music, uh, 
that different people have different opinions about the music and uh, some people like it and some people don't some people think it's childish and some people think it's perfectly acceptable and uh, I didn't mind the music I did find the interval music to be a bit patchy perhaps um, not music I would seek out in order to listen to it but I would happily listen to it while I was playing the game but now we get into the wonky side of things because uh, the controls you can play this game using a joystick or a joypad and a joypad of course has the advantage of having two buttons which means that if you play with the joypad you will jump using a button instead of using the up uh, directions on the joystick and personally I found that to be significantly more enjoyable which doesn't necessarily save much left to move left, right to move right, up to jump, down to duck and while the controls are perfectly fine when you are running and jumping and all that kind of stuff in the flying section, because you can pick up feathers so you can start flying are bizarre. The controls um, requires a lot of practice to get remotely used to and because of the pacing of the game uh, hey, you, yeah, you, you feel like the game controls you, you're not controlling the game. Certain people have implied that this was a sort of attempt at making a Sonic game on the Amiga, but it wasn't a Sonic game. And if you look at the gameplay and the pacing and all that kind of stuff, you can see some um, connection between those claims and the actual game. But the issue with this game is actually its pacing. There's a lot of momentum around the character, which makes sense. But the time it takes you from full stop to full acceleration, especially when you go downhill, is incredibly short. Meaning that um, in no time flat you end up at a speed where if you jump you uh, land seven screens down the gameplay field. Bumping into something you can't possibly know is there unless you play the game several times. You bump into spikes, chickens, bees, whatever they might be just because you were building up speed and jumping and not knowing the game well enough to be aware of the fact that you have to pace yourself before you jump. And there are bucket loads of those situations. I'm not going to claim this game is bad, but what I'm going to say is that if you take your time to master it, I'm sure you can make a playthrough of this game look exceptionally cool. But the trial and error involved in reaching that point and the incredibly uh, tedious navigating of the map to actually find the different levels will probably kill your desire to even attempt to master this game. And that makes it a Technical ex excellence cannot beat good gameplay type of game. On that note, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye for now.